It was basically every household, right? So you're either Ford family or a Holden family. It's intrinsic in the Australian idiot. Ford rule! Ford, Ford's a shit! People are born into one or the other, Ford or Holden. The rivalry then was seriously crazy. I mean, it divided families. The most breathtaking car in years. New, all new Holden. Here is the Australian Falcon, a car of sculptured styling. Granddad had a Ford, Dad had a Ford, I've got a Ford now, my son will have a Ford when he grows up. Bathurst in that period was the biggest and best showroom anywhere in the country. You've got to have a bit of everything to win at Bathurst, you've got to have a bit of everything to go fast at Bathurst. Some young guys would get them and go out there and wipe themselves out on the road. Almost as many people are killed on the roads as when had been killed in the Second World War. Both manufacturers wanted to beat the other guy with their new toy, and both of them had to put the toys back in the box for a while. Ford and Holden were so focused on themselves, they didn't see the threat of Japanese and Korean vehicles entering the marketplace. There's people with tears, there's people devastated. Yeah, sad day. Sad day for Australia. The fans hated the Nissans. They wanted the Fords and the Holdens to be up the front. And the crowd are really getting worked up, and I know why they are. And both Ford and Holden fans took up the half-full beer cans and were throwing them. This is going to remain with me for a long time. You're a pack of... Go to Mighty V8, Commodores! The battle lines were drawn. It is definitely to do with the history of being a full-blown Australian vehicle. There was this mad, crazy Australian battle. Just the red versus the blue, and that was all he wanted in life. Aussie blood runs red or blue. Which one are you?